There we go back to the phones. This is Steve in uh, Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Welcome, sir. Great to have you here. Uh, thank you, Rush. It's an honor to talk to you. I, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on the borderline constitutional crisis that's going up, uh, going on up here in Pennsylvania with the congressional redistricting argument, where now, with the map that they have approved, we're expected to lose five Republican House seats. Well, because they're redrawing, yeah, by by virtue of of redrawing the map of districts, you know, they're just they're they're redrawing the districts so Republicans couldn't win in five of them is what you mean, right? Yeah, exactly. But the, the reason they're doing it, this map's been in existence uh, since 2011, and the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania said it was unconstitutional, and then told uh, the le- the uh, House of the Pennsylvania State House. That they had to submit one in three weeks, or the sen- or the uh, um, Supreme Court of Pennsylvania would do it for them, which they did, which is not in the state's constitution. Well, naturally, that's what courts are there to do: uh, is take the place of the constitution. Yeah, they well, interpret the, the constitution; they can make it up too. Well, the, the problem here is you got people that need to have signatures in to run for office in a week. And they don't even know what district they're going to be running for. OK, look, I I, I, I had a, a brief amount of time to familiarize myself with the story before the program began. Um, and I, I'm I'm not fully up to speed on it, but I know enough to know, as as you do, that this is all being done on purpose by people in power now to change the balance of power, supposedly under the guise of the judicial system and legality. And it's Absolutely. for the express purpose of changing the balance in the congressional House delegation. It's it's being done for this reason. There's, that's the only reason it's being done. It yeah, is in response to Trump. It's pure and simple. It's all driven by our wonderful Democratic Governor Wolf, who I, I hope is in his uh, last few years of being in charge. But uh, it's just crazy. I mean, uh, they split my county, Lebanon County, which is a Republican county, the one that Wolf submitted split it in half, sent half of it to Philadelphia and the other half to uh, Harrisburg, which are both Democratic uh, areas, to to basically get rid of our Republican influence in the House. And yeah. uh, that, one, that one got shot down, but the new one's not a whole lot better. Yeah, I saw the two maps. And I, I saw the great differences in, in color after the Supreme Court's version was was changed. Are they telling you that this is final? Nothing more can be done? The, the Republicans in the House of uh, the State House are going to challenge it. It's going to go to the Supreme Court. Well, we'll we'll see what happens then. The Wall Street Journal story on the re gerrymandering in Pennsylvania says that it is four seats. The new map could flip at least four Republican held seats. Uh, and even before the Supreme Court ruling on this, rewriting the, the districts, the Democrats running in Pennsylvania have been promising this. They've been promising to re-gerrymander the districts if they won, including a Democrat candidate running for a special election next month. Uh, the other thing the Democrats and the media are stoking uh, is that the NRA has endorsed a Republican candidate in, in, in the special election in Pennsylvania, they're trying to destroy this guy by saying, yeah, he's the NRA's guy. He's the NRA's guy. Which is where these student protests come in very handy. 